Officer Henry is here, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, if he can help you out. Yeah, uh, General, I'm sorry, Inspector and Steve aren't here. They had a, like, finished, they had a rush out to a shooting. Uh, I've been actually on vacation training for the past two to three weeks, uh, so I'm not going to be able to answer pretty much any of the questions, but I will take every, I can write stuff down, and I will do it to the inspector as soon as he gets back. So if anyone has any problems, any questions, yeah. please just, you know, grab me now, or grab me on the side, I'll be here the entire time, and I'll take a uh, question, personal information, we'll get back to you. The 943 scene, I've been doing this for 19 years, we have an excellent response rate, we have no problem getting back in touch with you guys, okay? So, I'll be here, I'll be all over. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me try you I'm sorry. I apologize, uh, is this better? That is. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I just came back from vacation and training for two to three weeks. I wasn't exactly planning on addressing everyone. I'm the, actually the crime prevention officer, but Inspector Herson and Steve Truglio, the community affairs officer, had to respond to a shooting in East New York. Officer Scott Adamo, the other community affairs officer, is actually on vacation right now. So if anybody has any questions or problems, I, I don't want to speak for the, the commanding officer myself right away because I don't know the, you know the extent of what I've missed the past three weeks, but I'd be glad to take everyone's personal information down and the question itself and refer it to the inspector and Stephen Scott. So I'll, I'll be here at the table and I'll be floating around the entire church for the entire duration. If anyone has any problems, just please come up to me and uh, let me know what's going on, okay? Safety Committee of Community Board 1, which is the, this area. Um, and I've been here the past number of meetings. I know I can't hear up the dog either. <laughs> it's working, it's just that the, the acoustics in here are very weird. Um, anyway, we've come a couple of months to talk about the anti LGBT incidents that have been occurring in the neighborhood. And we've had another one reported to the community board this past week. So we asked um, the people who were the victims of this incident to come to the, the police community council to let you know about this new incident um, so you can be aware of it. We are working on it as soon as they let us know about it. The council person, they're going to tell you, they'll tell you in a minute. The, the council person's office was at that meeting and got on it right away. Rami got on it right away. The police have been to their house and investigated it. In, have been interviewing them, but they came tonight just to let you know themselves what happened, so you can see that this is not going away anytime soon. We need to keep working on it. So, uh, Katie Tvorsky, you want to come up and just let the crowd know what happened? Between 1 and 2 a.m. 
and we were walking from Blackout Bar to Gypsy Bar, and as we got to the corner, a man uh, in his car at a stoplight started yelling out the window at us. He was His car was stopped, and he started yelling at us, like, what are you? Like, what are you? And my friend Hannah yelled back, like, what are you? And we were just, like, we didn't know why he was, I mean, we had an idea of why he was screaming at us, but, um, so, we just, you know, we were just about to walk away when he starts to pull off, and, um, he throws um, a water bottle out his window at us, like clearly trying to hit us. And so Hannah picked it up and threw it back as he drove away. And so we were just like walking and just like trying to like not pay attention to him, but he uh, stopped his car and turned around and started following us. So we started walking a little faster, trying to get to the bar. Um, and they, uh, we walked into this bar and um, the guy stopped his car and he, he had his friend behind him who had followed him in his car. And these two men both got out and they followed us into the bar and you know, had been screaming at us as they were driving. Like, and uh, so they came into the bar and we were there and there was, um, you know, other people there. So, but they still came in and like yelled at us, like, what are you? Like, are you a man or a woman? Cause I want to hit a woman. And uh, just, I don't know, stood out there for a little bit and the bar owner, you know, got them out of there and like had them leave and they just kind of stood outside the bar, kind of like looking at us and kind of trying to intimidate us before they left. So, um, and the officer here tells me he was one of the officers that interviewed you. Yeah, you talked to Camilla. Yeah, I came over. So the incidents are still occurring. We want people to report them to the police as soon as possible. We also want people to report it to the anti-violence project so we can figure out what's going on and possibly do a public education forum around this issue. The police have been on top of it. There's been detectives that also investigated it. So. Um, these anti-gay crimes are not going away. You just need to be very vigilant and be aware of them. So. Yeah, I, was, uh, I was talking to the ex-president. Uh, you know, if you see something, so say something, now the new cars displaying all these banners in the back, that incident should have been, you know, You're should waiting have escalated. Now. We're waiting for them. <coughs> you guys see something from bottles. You sort of them. provoke them. Yes. You provoke them to for, act for bad action. Because you know you should throw bottles, you should jump, I mean, take know, a phone, 911, that's what you should do. It, it just like you got caught up in the rage. Listen, there's like, no yeah, excuse to throw bottles back because that's your fault. Well, when you're in a moment like that and someone's I understand, now you, you learn a mistake. You. Never ever like that. No, because you provoke I mean, I know, to ignore them, yeah. It's hard to say I how you'd react. Throwing to bottles, them. that's, you know. Well, we're on it now. Yeah. So anytime you have one, let us let the police know right away. That's right. <clears throat>